My message to parents who are parenting teenagers is be patient and uh, try to remember what it was like for you. I suppose these days it is quite different with international and sort of stuff, but it is a big learning curve of life. You know, it sets you up for later in life, so I suppose developing the relationship with your parent is really happens when you're a teenager. Sometimes you might, you know, part ways a bit, but you will eventually come back together. Getting to know myself, um, it really it was changed mindset very quickly. And I suppose it happened in sixth class, towards the end of sixth class and then into first year. You're trying to be more grown up and, you know, you really see yourself as being more mature. And the second year you think you're you know, the big people around the block. Uh, because you know you're no longer a first year, you're part of the really a part of the school, and uh, it's kind of thinking you're more mature than you really are. Teenager life is all about big blow ups and everything is big and extravagant. It's kind of you know that type of thing. Yeah, communications from being a younger kid uh, they really change, as in they're more of an advisory or kind of more. Um, you know, telling you what to do when you're younger. And now it's more taking, letting you make your own decisions. Now there has to be a certain amount of discipline, I suppose, but it's more of a, you know, equal to equal. The year, I suppose, is the transition from being a child to being an adult. And um, it's really about pushing the boundaries and, you know, trying to find where you fit in with your family and having your own opinions and, you know, um, being your own person and not, you know, always doing what your parents say necessarily. You know, it's kind of, I suppose I like to call it the year because it usually happens over a year, you know, from summer to summer or school year or whatever. You want to be cool and it's all a load of different things happening and it's all kind of, so it's including on your parents, it's, you know, really, your parents to take the brunt of it. And I suppose, you know, maybe parents just have to be, hope, understand that it will, it will end. And uh, it's not necessarily for the whole teenage years, although I know some people, it can take maybe two or three years, but they do. Everyone gets out of the year. My parents were very good about, you know, letting me take my step back. Um, it was, I suppose, that you have to let it happen. And this would be there to, you know, kind of maybe not pick up the pieces, but, you know, let them grow and on their own time and they'll come back. Being a teenager in Ireland today is all about social pressure, I think. It's a big deal, a school, friends, you know, family even, you know, you, I suppose your friends are a big part of, you know, how you act, I suppose. Some of the issues are, Cyberbullying, social pressures, um, you know, kind of either wanting to be unique or wanting to fit in. And uh, they can both be taken a bit too far. And my parents can be there for me and be on my side. And even if it's not necessarily right, at the start anyway, be on their side and try to sway you to more um, different thinking. Things that are good about being a teenager is self-expression. You know, you can experiment with your style, with your music choices, you know, and also I suppose with friends as well. You can kind of go from group to group and kind of try to find where you fit in. My, my message to my parents would be, I know it can be a bit of a pain, but I love you anyway.